and it goes all the way around. It kind of ruffles at the bottom. You can't convince me to not love this. I love it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> We're doing three videos this month, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get the third one out, if not by the end of this month, at the very beginning of next month. But I'm pretty sure. This is a big thank you to everyone who supported this channel. I'll definitely talk about it more in the next video because the next video will be more of like a New Year's video and it's always nice to look back. There's a little gift for the holiday seasons from me to you because I can't really give you anything else, so here you go. This month, since it is the holiday season, I thought it would be the perfect excuse to give myself some gifts, which are making things that I have wanted for years from movies and TV shows, specifically. Last video, we did the hand belt from Crimson Peak. Go check that out if you haven't. It was very fun, I think. And this week, we are doing the towel vest capelet thing from Catching Fire. I saw this movie in 2013, 10 years ago, Time, what, it doesn't exist. It's a construct, it's fine, don't freak out about it. I fell in love with this thing. The first time I saw it, I've literally never been able to forget about it. But back in the day, I didn't know how to knit or crochet, that rhymed. But now I do, and over the past few years, I've definitely fallen more in love with crochet. And I know that this piece is knitted. I'm gonna crochet it because I want to, and it's for me, so we're gonna do it my way. Now there's a lot of moving parts to this cowl. It's not super straightforward, but I do try to figure it out. I try my best. 10 years ago, I was not, like I said, I didn't know how to crochet or knit or really anything other than sew. I kind of missed the train where it seemed like when I go on Pinterest, the couple of years after this movie came out, everybody wanted to make this cowl thing. Everybody, it's everywhere. There are older photos usually. There's some newer ones, but you know, 2014, 2015 is where I see a lot of photos from. I missed the train by a long time, but we're gonna make up for it now. We're doing it now. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so I have just gotten started. The yarn arrived yesterday. I believe this is a cotton blend with bamboo. I'll have to double check that. And it's kind of this heather gray color. I thought that would kind of match. It's not an exact match, but that's not really what I'm going for. I'm not in the middle of this frame at all. Don't tell me I'm low now. I just charged you. You should not be low. I'm personally offended that you're low on battery right now. Okay, here's where I am so far. It's kind of this knitted, braided thing. I believe that that's knitted, not crocheted. In fact, I don't believe it. I, I know it's knitted, not crocheted. You can look at it. <laughs> it's not crocheted. It's kind of this braided pattern going on. And so I looked up on YouTube how to do like a braided crochet and it doesn't look exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And so far I have the first row and I'm going, kind of goes all the way around and this will kind of be like the longest area here. I'm gonna keep going with this until I have to kind of figure out how to make that shape because <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. Let's keep going for as long as I can until my battery completely dies. It's not been that long, <laughs> uh, but a lot is happening. I had done this section that I thought was going to be this kind of wraparound section. However, I think I decreased too quickly. You even see what I'm talking about? Nope. <laughs> and it kind of ruffles at the bottom, which I was at first like, oh no, what am I gonna do? But then I realized, I kind of realized that it's the perfect shoulder section and it will even like crisscross at the back here. So yay! I have done four rows of this braiding and then three rows of double crochets and then just repeated that until it was this width. I don't feel 
like I am really getting that like imperfection that I really love from the original. I think it looks, there's something like chunky and cozy. However, with the yarn that I chose and the amount of yarn that I wanna use, I don't think that's gonna be 100% possible along with my skill level. I think I'm relatively close. I'm getting that chunky textured feeling from it. So, so far I'm pretty happy and I'm gonna move on to this kind of, I don't know, curved section here. I'm gonna definitely do it a different way this time. Not quite sure how. I might go like section by section and like break it up to where this is one section and this is a second section and then there's like a third section here. I'm not quite sure yet. We're gonna figure that as we go. By the way, if you notice that I'm wearing the same outfits as I wore in my last video, um, you're correct. I'm filming these simultaneously in order to try to get out an extra video this month. So good noticing. As a fun little extra craft, I decided I would quickly make the Mockingjay pin with some leftover Sculpey I had from making the hands. It's been a hot second since I filmed, but I've basically gotten to the same point that I gotten with the last piece. The only difference is I didn't do the decreasing on the ends and I decreased a little bit less on the side section right here, like here. So I was looking at photos and I think what I have to do next is not increase any more on this side, or at least have no more rows going on on this side. It's kind of increase only towards the front to where the front gets wider, but the back doesn't. And then this little portion on one of the photos where it looks like this like almost gusset looking thing, like right here next to to basically where the armhole is. Two different sections. I don't think this is one piece of work. I think it's two and they connected it together. So that's the next step for this. Also, my makeup got away from me because uh, I'm only wearing sweatpants today. <laughs> Does anyone else have what I affectionately call a cat dog? When you wanna give them attention, most of the time they don't want anything to do with you, but when you're super focused on something else, they demand constant attention. Ollie is a cat dog. <laughs> Do I look like a tree? 
good. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Update time. I have put the neck cowl part together with this little wonky line, which I actually think looks fine. The cool thing about the original that I kind of wish I was able to recreate more is it looks like imperfectly perfect. I don't feel like I'm getting that vibe. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you what I have. I have to take off my mic. Okay, so for the moment, I've attached this with pins. When I go to reach it around to the back, it's a little on the short side. But yeah, this is kind of it so far. I am gonna go ahead, hold on. I made a little extension for the back. It's about, I don't know, a little less than a foot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it because for this final little like V section from like the arm's eye out, what would, I think what would, <sighs> words? I think what would be best is to keep it attached, not do a separate piece, but like work with the rest of this piece on this cow part. That sounds like it's confusing. <laughs> and then let me show you what I was thinking of for like the neck part of it. So give me a second. I have these really, really old t-shirts that are just, they're in bad condition. I cannot give them to like Goodwill or something. I've been kind of just holding on to them because I was thinking I could use them for some kind of rag or I don't know. I've been keeping them around. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these off into like large strips and then either twist them or braid them together to where I can then twist the yarn around them. I'm gonna get started on all those things. And I... Uh... Yeah. It usually doesn't snow here until January, so even getting this dusting made me so excited. And it was the perfect day to get a warm cup of coffee and just continue crocheting. Hey, this is Editing Bree. So the next section is a reaction to the Catching Fire costumes that I did with my mom. Now I accidentally deleted this, but was able to screen record it to save it. But the audio is just a bit tinny, especially at the beginning. It's not the worst, but I wanted to warn you. My mom and I had so much fun filming this part and I wanted so badly to show it to you. So I'm glad I was able to save it in some way. So anyway, back to the video. <sighs> to go ahead and re-watch Catching Fire because I probably haven't watched it in about eight years. And you uh, might not recognize the background behind me because this is my mother's bedroom because she's the only one that has the capability to watch Catching Fire for free. For free for me, not for free for you. My mother is here. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and we have some hot cocoa and she, I have my early Christmas present that my mother gave me, which are these little slippers, which I love. And she also let me borrow some pajama pants to make it look like a sleepover because it's all about the vibes. But I do have a couple of questions for my mom. Mom, you remember when I was like reading the books and watching the movies and loving them, right? Yes, right. Do you remember, excuse you, sir, I think you're in the way of my sound. Do you remember anything about Catching Fire? Um, yes, lots of killings. Okay, anything else? Um, I remember a beautiful knitted <laughs> uh, piece that she wore. Uh, since this is the second movie, do you remember what happened in the first movie? Lots of killings. <laughs> um, so the first movie, the basis of this movie is that uh, there are 12 districts and they all rose up and tried to take over the capital at one point because the capital didn't treat them very well. They do all the work in the capital and get all these rich people that are like, you know, capitalism and consumerism to the extreme. <laughs> but this is after that first Hunger Games. Um, let's start watching the second movie. <laughs> Just kidding, we have to rent it. So subscribe, <laughs> make it worth it. <laughs> the reason I really like this first costume, the first outfit that she wears in the first movie, I have to pull up my Pinterest board. Okay. Leather jacket, so sit in, this is her hunting outfit. And the fact that it looks so similar to this 
outfit, but you automatically know that she has money now. Because when you win, you get to live in the victor circle and you win like a ton of money. And immediately you can tell like things fit her so much better. Things are so much higher quality. I believe the cowl itself is actually uh, like designer. And I love that tiny change, but you can immediately tell the difference. Like the, her pants are all ripped up here. Nothing fits her. You can tell like this is her father's clothes. Her father died, by the way. So these are her father's clothes. Okay. I just like that. I think it's like a really nice touch that they gave her a similar costume at the beginning of each movie. Anyway. That's a neat detail. Thank you. It's my favorite character. It's Effie Trinket. Look at that 70s That's glam. So there he is. <laughs> my other favorite character. Again, she wears another fur collar. This mm -hmm. one's like a blue, cobalt yeah, I blue. Yeah, that it's really. From you training me. Yeah. From a costume designer's eye. Mm -hmm. But she kills animals. She's a hunter. Ooh, that's actually a good thought. But also, I thought it, my thought was that they are similar colors. So the districts are dull and the capital has very bright colors. So they're kind of an in-between because they have very dulled out colors, but their details are just like so pretty, like the collar. So I was thinking a similar thing, but I like your thought. Yeah, it's very... They give a lot of like Roman and Greek iconography within like the set design and stuff like that. This is a lot of fire because coal, fire. And I don't know, it's probably unfair and I have no clue how they would do it, but I wish that they would make it less CGI and more practical effects. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Look at also all their cork. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks. I get to live the rest of my life in peace. But now, I'm Again, I wish it was more technical, not less CGI, but so pretty. Okay. Yes. And I wish those wings were real. They're also CGI. When the first, and it's on purpose, the first Hunger Games, they wore like cargo pants, basic top, and some kind of like cargo jacket. Yeah. And in this one, I guess because they're more in like an ocean thing, they're basically wearing like swimsuit bodysuits. Yeah. But I also feel like it's to show that they spent more money on this one because their suits are nicer than the last time. These are like professional killers, quote unquote. I hate saying it like that. Professionals, but um, I felt like that's a professional athlete look. <gasps> totally agree. More like the Olympics. Yeah. That's, I like it. You. You're making all kinds of good points. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. There's no new costumes until the end. This is the what costumes they wear. We'll see you then. <laughs> Did you like it? Yes. I remember after we watched it. Yeah. That I had already seen it. You have already seen it. <laughs> I thought the Hunger Games was good, but this one's just like extraordinary. Yeah. And I would say probably the best like dystopian, especially YA dystopian movie. But we're gonna go eat, we're really hungry, so I'll see you soon. <laughs>
The bottom tube I attached like this, but at the cross section at the back, as well as the top tube, I wrapped the yarn around each time before attaching it to make sure it was super stable. And now it is time to show you the final result. Okay, let's do this outro fast. This wig <laughs> feels like it's adding about 15 pounds and just hanging on by like two hairs. I am so happy with how this turned out. Does it look super, super similar? No, I don't care. You can't convince me to not love this. I love it. It's nice and light. I think hers looks a lot heavier. I like the lightness. I think I might've mentioned this earlier in the video, but we don't really get cold here until January. So this, this layer is pretty perfect for right now. As far as these little, I don't know, like padded rings here, hers are definitely larger and wider. Like they kind of sit wider on the piece, but honestly, Jennifer Lawrence's neck is a lot longer than mine. Most people's necks are longer than mine. And I feel like it would have just kind of come up over my face and I wouldn't have liked that. So I'm happy with the way it is. Next week, I'm gonna give a quick little hint, is a New Year's outfit from a very popular 90s television show. I'd love to give you guys hints. I'd love to see if you guys guess every time. But that is gonna be it for me this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you had a good time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I hope to see you back here next time. Bye! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whew.